What's up again guys, Brian here at 3TR, and just like last year, today I'll be sharing with you my personal top 10 best loot crate items that we got from August 2013 to August 2014 of this month. Now before I begin, like always, I would just like to remind all of you that this list is my own personal opinion, so if there's a particular item that is missing, well, just deal with it because it's my list and I'm going to do things my way. So starting off real simple with number 10 on my list is something that's not exactly one item but a collection of items, and that is the Loot Crate Button Pen Collection. Now I know that button pens may not seem like much, but it's just the fact that I think in a way these kind of symbolize that I was there when that particular loot crate item was given out. And I don't know, they kind of feel like badges to me. So I'm kind of happy that it's kind of the one item that you will be consecutively getting every single month. And if you build it up to a collection, it could turn out to be a pretty cool thing. And from this point on, I would actually be surprised if we actually got a loot crate that didn't come with a button pen. So that's why this is number 10 on my list. Going on into number 9 on my list is something that kind of reminds me of one of my old childhood favorite cartoons growing up in the 90s. If you were, you know, 90s kid like I was from Nickelodeon. And that is the Talking Ren doll. Now, Ren and Stimpy was one of my favorite cartoons growing up, so the fact that I got a little figure kind of reminding me of one of my favorite childhood shows is pretty special to me. So I'm really curious to see if we can still talk. Yeah, still works. And that's why it's number nine on this list. Going right into number eight is something that we actually got quite new for this particular month, and that is a pair of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles sunglasses. Now, I really enjoyed these because, uh, you know, I'm a big Ninja Turtles fan and I've never seen anything like this. And the fact that I got a pair of Leonardo sunglasses makes it that much more cool because Leonardo is my favorite Ninja Turtles of all time and has been since I was a kid. So, this is why it is number eight on my list. Now, going on to number seven is an item that I'm sure a lot of you might be a little bit shocked that I'm putting so low on the list, but you kind of have to understand where I'm coming from, and that is the very exclusive Racket Raccoon comic book. Now, I'm going to be pretty honest with you guys, I have yet to see Guardians of the Galaxy, and if you watch my channel, you kind of understand my situation, but I'm just, although I'm pretty sure Racket Raccoon does steal the show in the movie, and he's a pretty interesting character, I thought this was a fun read, but I just don't know all that much about the Guardians. I mean, I'm sure they're really nice characters, I'm sure they have interesting, you know, plots, but again, this is my only introduction to the, to the Guardians. I No movie. I don't... I'm not a big fan of the comic books, so I can't really get too into them. So, although I thought it was really cool that we got an exclusive comic book, I just can't put them too high on the list because I just don't know all that much about them. Maybe if I had actually, you know, planned ahead and known a little bit more about the Guardians, it'd be higher on my list, but uh, that just didn't be, and it wasn't the point this year. Going on into number six is something that I thought was really special, especially for someone like me that lives here in Vegas, and that was a shot glass with a targeting sight on it. Now, a lot of people like to get very special customizable shot glasses, so just the fact that we got a shot glass that literally has a, you know, crosshair targeting sight on it, I think it makes it really cool because, uh, you know, it can tell you just from looking at it exactly what it is, but I guess you could do that with just about any shot glass, and that's why it's number six on my list. Going on into number five is something I thought was really kind of unique and kind of would help me in a really dangerous situation, and I thought it was really nice for Luke Craig to send this, and that is a Zombie Survival Guide Handbook. Now, I'm very, very, very careful with my reading material, so the fact that I now have a Zombie Survival Guide makes me feel like a really special person because in the event of a zombie outbreak, you might want to head towards my direction because if you want to know how to survive, well, heck, I got the guide right here to help you survive. And so I know I'll be prepared when a zombie outbreak happens because who knows when it will happen. That's why it's number five on this list. Going on to number four is something that I've actually seen on the internet quite a lot recently on Twitter and Facebook and has become quite popular, and that is a pair of Deadpool socks. Now, i got to be honest, this isn't something that I would actually wear out in public very often. This is something that I would probably wear just around my house. But the fact that it goes really good with my Deadpool 8 shirt that we got from Lou Craig last year, I think makes it really twice as cool because now I have a combo to wear around the house, and that's why it is number four on this list. Going on into number three is something that I actually knew very, very little about before Lucret introduced me, and that is Attack on Titan. So the fact that my introduction to probably one of the coolest animes that I've seen in the past number of years was this manga that was sent to us by Lucret makes it that much more epic. And I have to be honest, for those of you that don't watch Attack on Titan, I have to ask you, what is your problem? Just watch the first three episodes, and once you get past those first three episodes, I guarantee you, you are going to be hooked. Because I cannot wait for season two to kick off if it hasn't already. And if it has, please let me know where I can watch it, because uh, season one was just awesome. And that's why it's number three on this list. 
Going on into number two is a particular figure. Now, we got a lot of really cool figures this year, and as much as I would love to say that it was my Leonardo figure, and as much as I would love to say that it was the exclusive group figure that we got this month, I have to say my favorite figure that we got this year is undoubtedly my Domo Superman figure. I mean, you can't, you just cannot beat the Man of Steel in terms of Domo figures. I mean, look, I'm wearing a Superman sweatshirt, and he's about to throw it out with my man, the Dark Knight, March 25th, 2016. So now the fact that I have another cool Superman figure that I can add to my Batman vs. Superman collection just makes it that much more epic, and I thank Luke Craig for sending me this in particular. And that leads me on to number one. Now, if you happen to be watching my channel for probably the past month, you probably may have already seen my Worst to Best Loot Crate Shirts video, which I'll be sure to leave a link probably right here or in the description down below because I thought it was a really fun video to make in one take. So, you already know what number one is going to be. So, for me, the number one Best Loot Crate item that we got this year is, of course, the Console War shirt, which combines today's modern console war with the Battle Hall from Empire Strikes Back. And I gotta tell you, you can't really go wrong by mixing two epic genres or genres of things together, in my personal opinion. And it's really the one item that I actually get stopped the most wherever I go, whether it's a mall or a gaming store or a convention. People like to stop me and say, hey, where'd you get that really cool shirt? And I tell them, I got it from the guys and girls at Loot Crate because they're just that awesome when it comes to picking out their shirts. So, you just can't top it. I mean, you cannot, you just can't top mixing Modern Concept War with probably the best battle scene that we had in the original Star Wars films. I wonder if J.J. Abrams is going to be able to top it in Episode 7. And so that is why this shirt is my number one favorite Loot Crate item that we got for the year of 2013-2014. So I'd really like to know, if you are a looter like me, what were some of your favorite items? Please share your list in the comments down below. And if you like this video, feel free to like, comment down below, and please subscribe to track me in my future videos. And if you want to start your own Loot Crate adventure for the next year, you can press another link in the description down below and begin your adventure just like I will. And like always, thank you guys for watching. You're awesome, and I'll see you next time.